Hi there, I just wanted to record uh, a little prayer resource that I came across recently to help you. Uh, many people have spoken over the years and at many times about praying the Psalms. In fact, someone called the Psalms the prayer book of the early Christians. And for centuries, actually, millennia, three and a half millennia, the Psalms have been a source of solace, strength and comfort and spiritual nourishment for both churches and individuals. They're timeless poems and prayers, songs that are at the heart of the Bible. They offer a rich tapestry of human emotional experience uh, that we can all tap into. And so recently I came across a resource that I wanted to share with you that has really benefited me in terms of how to pray the Psalms. So I want to take you through that and I'm hoping it will be of great benefit to you and I'm praying that you will get so much for, from this. So the first step really is to take the Psalms and begin to read. For this resource you could actually start anywhere and um, you could start at chapter one you could put your thumb in you know put a pin in and start at chapter 10 or wherever you can start there and as you read list write down 10 things the psalms say about god as you read so i began i began at psalm chapter one and i began to read and i began to write 10 things here's the 10 things that i discovered and wrote out as prayers from psalms chapter one to eight Number one, Lord, your laws are good. Number two, Lord, you watch over the righteous. Number three, I like this one, Lord, you laugh at your enemies. Number four, Lord, you are a shield, the one who lifts my head. And number five, Lord, you are my deliverer, the one who makes me safe. Number six, Lord, you hear me when I call. Number seven, Lord, you sit enthroned on high, you are above all. Number eight, Lord, your name is majestic, your glory is above the heaven. Number nine, Lord, you bless the righteous and you surround me with favor as with a shield. And number 10, Lord, you have crowned mankind with glory and honor. So that's the first part of this, you read and you write them down and then you pray them. You take that list and you begin to pray through that list. And as you pray, each one you contemplate and you think about what that means to you and what it means for you. So I've picked a couple of examples just to show you how that works in practice. So let me just share these with you, just three of those. Lord, your laws are good. At that point, the key is to pause and to contemplate. What does that mean, that God's laws are good? To me, that is everything God says, every instruction he gives is for my benefit. God wants me to flourish and God wants all humans to flourish. Lord, your laws are good. Another one, Lord, you bless the righteous. You surround me with favor as with a shield. To me, this speaks that God desires to bless us, to show his favor to us, and that his favor will protect us, literally put a shield around us. What a wonderful thing to pray and to contemplate. And then the third, Lord, your name is majestic. Your glory is above the heavens. This speaks to me that there is no one like our God. He is holy, he is majestic, he is beautiful. There is no one who comes close to him. No one comes close to his power, his strength or his love. He's no rival, no equal. His greatness no one can fathom. He is infinite and yet personal. He is fearful and yet he can be known and loved. I hope this guide to pray in the Psalms becomes helpful to you. I want to encourage you to try it. Get the Bible, get the Psalms, just begin to read. And as you read, write down 10 things those Psalms tell you about God and then pray them and contemplate 
what each one of those means to you and means for you. 